You know, if you look at the speech I gave at the National uh, Defense College several months ago, uh, I outlined how I saw the shift in, uh, in terrorism around the world and what we have to do to respond to it. And part of what I said is, is that we had decimated core al-Qaeda that had been operating primarily between Afghanistan and Pakistan. But you now had these regional groups, some of which are explicitly uh, tied to al-Qaeda or that ideology, some of which are more localized. Uh, few of them have the ability to project beyond their borders, but they can do a lot of damage inside their borders. And Africa is one of the places where, uh, because in some cases the lack of capacity on the part of the governments, uh, in some cases because um, it is uh, easier for folks to hide out uh, in vast terrains that uh, are, are sparsely populated, that you're seeing some of these groups uh, gather. And we're going to have to continue to go after them. But there's a difference between us going after terrorists uh, who are plotting directly to do damage to the United States and us being involved in wars. Um, you know, the, the, the risks of terrorism and terrorist networks are going to continue for some time to come. We've got to have a long-term plan uh, that is not just military-based. We've got to engage in a war of ideas in the region uh, and engage with uh, uh, Muslim countries uh, and, and try to isolate uh, radical elements that are doing more damage to Muslims than they are doing to anybody else. Uh, we've got to think about economic development because although there's not a direct correlation between terrorism and uh, the economy, there's no doubt that if you've got a lot of unemployed, uneducated young men uh, in societies that uh, there's a greater likelihood uh, that uh, terrorist recruits uh, are available. Uh, but where you've got active uh, plots and active networks, uh, we're going to go after them. We prefer partnering with uh, countries uh, where this is taking place, wherever we can, and we want to build up their capacity, but uh, uh, we're not going to farm out our defense. Uh, and uh, I have to say, by the way, the operations that took place both in Libya and Somalia uh, were examples of the extraordinary uh, skill and dedication and talent uh, of our men and women in armed forces. Uh, they do their jobs extremely well with great precision, at great risk to themselves. Um, and uh, I think they're pretty good examples for how those of us here in Washington should operate as well.